What's up, bro? What's, What's going, going on? on, dude? It's going down, dude. What? What is it? What is going down? It's going down right now. Been a while, dude. It's been a minute. I feel, I, dude, I really, did you ever like not have sex with a girl for a long time? She's like, I'm nervous. Oh, really? Is that how, how you feel, right, I feel now? right now? I'm, I'm like, back to give it to I'm you, baby. I'm nervous. No, Matt. <laughs> Don't make it gay, I'm dude. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hard. I'm Thinking I'm about nervous. it. nervous. Thinking about sliding in you. Ooh, baby. Me being all nervous, like, let's just sit here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's just talk. Can we talk for a minute? You never want to talk. It's always just straight to sex. It's like, bitches. I don't, I don't want to talk to you. I, I got cum in me. I haven't felt nervous like this in a while. Yeah. What was going on when I was gone, dude? It was rumpus time. It was a rumpus fucking... I listened to one episode and I was like, the rumpus time, dude. <laughs> you, you, you started... You, Without me, dude, the, the wheels came off, dude. It was just a weed cult immediately. <laughs> oh, dude, that was nothing, dude. There was, that was, that was, that was like, the only thing I listened to was the first Stoner Dads app. Dude, there was, so we had first Stoner Dads. That was so, <laughs> how did you feel about Stoner Dads? <laughs> I love that. That was so much fun. Stoner Dads was funny. The, that was a blast. Yeah. We did it. I, so I did a uh, dog file. Did you, did you like follow any of this? No. Bro. I saw an apology email. Dude. That's all I saw. I did a formal statement. But I had so okay, I, a, a uh, dude. Pardon me, pardon me. Form, it was very structured formal statement. The uh, <laughs> it was so, the structured the structured statement was like, "I am in fact the one who is a faggot." <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, so like the uh, someone had reached out and been like, "Hey, that's where it's not mine. I don't say that type of junk." Go well, ahead. I was I was absorbing online. Fa- people course. were crushing this young man. Really, bro. I mean, he. Oh yeah, tell me what it was about. I didn't listen. So he hit me up and he was like, "Hey, I did a thesis on incels." So okay. m- in my head, I'm like, I, for some reason, I thought this dude was like doing like a master's level thesis or like a doctorate. I'm like, damn, this is sick. This guy did like deep research on incels. Yeah. So he gets on and uh, instantly, he's a nice dude. He instantly hits me up though, and he's like, talk, he's, he's like, this is my undergraduate." And I'm like, "Oh fuck, bro!" I was like, "How old are you?" He's like, "22." And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, "Fuck." He's, he's got dog brains. He's 22, and yeah. I did. I did tell him. I was like, "Bro, look." Well, either way, so he, he delivered his. He delivered, uh, you know, his research. In my head, I was like, while it was going on, I was sitting there, like my dogs were being loud. So I'm like looking at my dogs, like, "Shut up, stop being so loud." Brittany's texting me. I'm like, "Brittany, leave me alone," and I'm hearing him say all this stuff. In my head, it's just like, "Well, what about this? What about this?" And I'm like, "I'll let this guy just do his thing." Yeah, dude. Without, I just, I just wanted to put something out so badly. Of I just didn't even think about it. It's all good. I put it out, and everyone was like, "What a fucking faggot! Fuck this fucking <laughs> faggot!" And they just started. Killing this dude, Damn. crushing him. Then I felt bad. I'm like, I should have prevent. I could have easily prevented this. Yeah, I was so you lustful. Put a 22 year old out in the so field. So lustful. You dude. put him out in the field. You put a rookie in the field, bro. And that dude, I, I'm starting to realize too. It's like, it's not for everybody, bro. When you put, I mean, he he handled it. I called him. I'm like, look, bro, it'll blow over. You're gonna, you're going to take a couple faggots yeah. right now. But it's like, dude, he must have taken like 60. Really, dude. He, he was getting. He was getting. There were some people who were like, oh, what's the big deal? But when you, that's the other thing too. When you talk incels, dude. Dudes you are ready to ready. fuck you up. Dudes do not like it. <laughs> dude, incels will get you if you when make fun of them. Boy, when you bring the sun into the incel, they're Bro, like, ah. If you call their name, they will appear. But they, the thing that they had a problem with, which was legitimate, was like a lot of his thesis was kind of being like they're terrorists. So a lot of it was kind of like headlines. with no. There was no numbers really to be like, there's like four reported cases. And it's like, all right, dude. You know, so it wasn't it yeah. wasn't a solid research that I was craving, but the young man did his thing, dude. He hopped in hey, the paint. He went the to the fuck? he went to the fucking hoop, dude. And, and yeah, people, whatever. A bunch of cells are just like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> cells are out, dude. Someone's gonna someone's gonna put on a body cam and kill him while reciting like PewDiePie <laughs> quotes. <laughs> it's, it's not gonna be good. That's so. That's what he was. He was like, yeah, dude. You literally are, talking. You, you can't, dude. You can't bother the incels. He was. He was. He rattled their cage a little. He was well. He was like t- talking to me, even like some of it, like off the thing, being like, "Dude, I'm like legitimately afraid I'm gonna get killed by incels." I'm like, "Dude, incels are not gonna kill you, dude. They're fucking around on 4 Yeah, they're not gonna kill you. Yeah, there's a couple, couple of them went bad, a couple went rogue for sure. Yeah, but you know, I was like, so we we were, uh, we did that for a while. So, dude, that was <laughs> a couple so <laughs> went bad. That's a, you know, <laughs> a couple went sour. That's a nice way to say it. Yeah, a couple went sour. But yeah, yeah. He, he was like talking like these dudes are about to come get him. And I'm like, nah, man, they're not gonna. It's not like that. Oh man. So yeah, there was there was. So you a, put out the statement to protect the young boy. I, dude, I had to. I wonder if the young boy's handsome. I bet he's handsome, dude. I I don't. Know. I saw. It's like a, you only you can only see like Twitter pictures. Okay. So it's like I don't know. I don't. I didn't. I didn't think he was like a Chad. Really? Yeah, he wasn't a Chad. So Damn. I don't. I don't know, dude. He just 
fucking, you know, I, I tried something on, I should start screening now. Cause I just click a button. I'm like, all right, dude, what do you have to say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So that well, was kind of the point of it. True. True. But I could have been like, well, wait, what about when he was saying research yeah. in my head? I'm like, like, what did you do? Like, did you do like numbers? Did you interview people? And he's like, you know, I just looked at comments and stuff and I'm like, oh fuck, this guy did, this is like high school project. Yeah, this shit. is trouble. <laughs> yeah, I was like, fuck. It's all right. He just did what I usually do. He just like came up with a wild theory based off no evidence. Is be like, dude, no, for real, you got to see this. <laughs> oh man! So that's what was going on. Dude. It was rumpus time. It was rumpus time, dude. So everyone God fucking damn. dog piled on him. And it was funny too because people were like, "It's not that bad." I saw Sid. Sid posted a video of him like naked crawling out of a tank. I yeah. knew I had to get back, dude. Yeah, dude. The boys, look, I can't leave you alone with. The- <laughs> you get. You need. You need some negative feedback because if you because Tim and fucking Sid just they're on board. Oh yeah, so all three of you are on the same trajectory. You need someone back there like no, don't do that, don't do that. Tampering it, yeah, yeah. Tim it naked down. out the tank was a solid move. Uh I like that. I saw it. I was showing like, this his, is this is scary. Showing his little hiney. It was scary. What was scary about it? It was weird. The blue light, strange, dude. Because <laughs> then I thought about him having to set up the camera and press record, and then climb back in, and then climb back out. I thought Butterly did it for him at first. Well, that would be but it, no. It was. It was. He set the cam, slithered out, went back in, slithered back out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was. It was fun, man. We had a uh, we had a good old time. Yeah, you did. But the incel app, I was like. Never again, dude. Because it, it does require pushback of being like, well, what about this? Or what about this? In my head, I was like... Wait, so what, what did he say that was so bad? It just was not researched? And people are upset? Well, it was it was just taking, like, stuff... It, yeah, nothing was like... It wasn't horrible, but it would be like taking a... It was like taking, like, headline... Like, sensationalized headlines of, like, the incel, incels are on the rise. Yeah. Now they're, they're, you know, a gang. You know, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. You know, being like, and they're not, you know, like everyone fucks around in 4chan and like makes like just fucks around with shit. Yeah. He was like, nah, man, they're not fucking around. They're serious. So then you get like trolls who are like, fuck that guy, dude. He's, he's like, if it was like when people listen to the, and he even did yeah. say, he's like, you know, I get it. You guys fuck around. It's not the same thing, but it, it was the same argument. But these guys aren't fucking around. So yeah, it True. was some of, I mean, dude, there are some dark corners of the internet, dude. So, you know, either way, the only reason I deleted it is because Spud didn't like it. The Spud man didn't like he it. He didn't like it, dude. Wasn't well, Spud half incel? He well, he's he can't claim incel because he's not a virgin. And True. He, he got asked not that long ago, and that's that was what I was talking about on the thing. I'm like, dude, it sucks. Like if you if you had the terminology for me when I was younger, I'd be like, fuck, I'm an incel because I would go like nine month stretches yeah. without getting oh, asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like. Now that, that that wasn't a thing, I was always like, I'll get pussy eventually. But now it's like you go on these message boards, and you're like, wait, what am I? You're like, fuck. Yeah. And it's like. Especially for a, like a nineteen year old, nine months or like nine months of not getting pussy is an eternity. You just had to be a pussy liar. True, that's the in only that seven way. Month, in that seven month stretch, you had to be a pussy liar. You just had to revert. Solid move. You had to revert, resort to pussy lying. That's the only way to survive that stretch. S- Sydney had a good theory, actually a good point, saying that like being an incel is so un- is so unacceptable in the black community. It's not a thing. And he's like, I think it's the fact that white guys don't try to get pussy hard enough. Like they don't cat cat callings out of the picture, so he's like it's really white guy's fault that like this thing exists. Yeah, it's also the you know I think the rules are a little harsher on white guys <laughs> when know. it comes to cat calling and all that. And also I'll well, say excuse this. me, we're the only ones who cat call. Excuse me, I'm gonna put Pardon a pin me? in that. I'm gonna put a Matt, pin in that right let's now. Let's put a pin in this right now. White guys <laughs> are the main culprits of cat calling. We've established <laughs> excuse that. Excuse me. Yeah, it's, but also <laughs> obviously also I'll say this, and this isn't. I think. It's more socially acceptable for black guys when they're younger, definitely, to just fuck whoever. Like, white guys, if you fuck an ugly chick, you're going to hear about it. I, dude, I partied, I don't know, though, because I don't... I, I partied as hard as I could. I I'd had you no did. shame. You had no shame. No shame. I grew out of my shame. Yeah. But I, there were definitely some chicks I hooked up with that I was like, you fucking don't tell anybody about it. <laughs> like, I was definitely like that. Dude, I've said it before. That was my favorite thing to do in college when people pull up, pull up Facebook and be like, damn, look at this chick. I thought she was so hot. I would go for like my oddity collection. Like, yo, I'll give you a Pete name. They're like, what the fuck? I'm like, dude, she's fucking hot. They're like, you're fucked up, dude. <laughs> you're fucked up. I like it. I That's like how it you got to roll. But I no, like I hear you. Now. I hear what you're saying. Maybe. That's just the theory. Gunning fast. You're talking, they're gunning fast and loose. Yeah. That's just his point theory. It's like you have to be able, like, we were talking about how you basically, like, yeah, if you're not wearing all of the same color matching clothes, like, you're just, you're not trying hard enough, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
True. <laughs> You'll have an all red fucking outfit, dude. It's like, of course you're not getting pussy, dude. But yeah, so the, uh, but yeah, that that was something that I was like, all right, I got to stay more conscious during these things. If someone's doing something, I'm like, wait, no. Rather than being like, okay, yeah, whatever, I can see that. Nah. But yeah, it was. Uh, I think you're being too hard on yourself. I didn't listen to the episode, but it I, wasn't bad. Okay. I mean, it was the thesis was fucking. It was a all weak right. thesis. That's all. But yeah, it was funny. It was it was so funny to see people like, what the fuck? fuck? I feel bad for the guy now. He's probably like second guessing. His I caught no. I called him. I talked to him. He's off, good. I talked to him off the rack. I said, bro, this is going to die down. Yeah. These non pussy ass getting motherfuckers are freaking out, bro. Give him a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <gasps> oh, oh fuck man. So how was England? Uh, Toronto was sick too. First, oh, I went yeah. to Canada. That was fun. Forgot about that. The dogs came out, dude. You got to come up to Canada. Up in Canada? Me. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got to get we up got some there. fans up in Canada. That's what's yeah. up, man. And England. The dogs are in England. There's some dogs up there. There's some dogs across the pond. Did you find? Did you find them over there? Didn't find them. Uh, one guy, but that's what's up. No, they just DM'd me. They're like, like "Oh yo. shit, are you in England doing shows? Well, come out." Yeah. Damn. Yeah, we got to get over there, bro. Yeah. Well, Canada for sure. Yeah. Canada for England, sure. I don't know, man. Anytime I go to another country, I'm just instantly like, right when I get there, I'm like, damn, America fucking rules. Yeah, what's their this, setup? This sucks. What was their setup? London was pretty fucking nice, though. Yeah. I mean, it, was, it was really nice. The thing that sucks, though, is I don't think they have, like, a highway. Like, to get across the city, you have to take nothing but back roads. Like, small, little, shitty, narrow roads that are turns and roundabouts at every yeah. fucking every block and they still use that like that stone age fucking celsius system so everything's, oh, they, everything's up. made up yeah <laughs> everything's bullshit i got off when i got off the plane in toronto they're like it's negative 14 degrees i was like jesus christ yeah but it was that whatever bullshit like 45 made degrees. up temperature they use <laughs> yeah everything sucked toronto's pizza is dog shit dude what is it they only serve like frozen pizzas that's tight. It's like just DiGiorno's. Just a pizza. It's like it's a movie crazy. theater pizza. It's crazy. What? Uh, yeah, Toronto was, and oh. you were not lying, dude. Canadians will get in your grill and tell you a story immediately. Where they, they cornered you. Some lady just fucking close, nailed me. That's a nation of close talkers, oh, dude. She nailed me right away with about, she kept saying how she was progressive. I forget what the fuck she was talking about. It was right before my show. She was in this green room just nailing me. That's how I'm telling you. That's how they exterminated. I was texting you during it. She yeah. She was like... That's how they exterminated the Indians. They close talked them, and the Indians just fucking rode their horses from off the fucking <laughs> straight cliff. off, dude. <laughs> and another thing, man, my ex-wife, my man, ex- oh. she doesn't even talk to me anymore. And the guy was like, "Fuck this, dude." Um, yeah, she started talking to me. There was a story in the Toronto scene that kind of rules. Mm-hmm. There was a transgendered woman, yeah, that was like very, vo- I think, vocal against Louis, and was like very like controlled the scene. Yeah. With an iron dick. You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Just bullying everybody with yeah. the fucking, like, there's not enough diversity on the show. That's the it's move. like, well, you suck. That's why you're not on the show. Imagine coming I in. I can't stand that. But the imagine fucking... ascending, though, dude. Oh. You're fucking trans. Everyone's like, freak, freak. And then one day, people are like, hey, what do you think we should book these shows? And you're like, um, uh, me. Me? <laughs> me? A bunch of me? <laughs> me, obviously. Um, I, I'm into that path. True. I, I will. But, see, I don't think... I think most of the transgender people, are, again, this is a wild speculative thoughts, but I think they're new. I think they're new to the game, dude. They're now that new it's school. I think now that now that it's being accepted, now I think they're a new fool. I was about to say <laughs> they're a new fool. Uh, I think now you know, and there's reasons for it. Maybe because now it's way more socially acceptable. Yeah, you might even argue socially rewarding. But I wouldn't make that. I would never make an assumption like that. But yeah, it's for there's a, for now. There's I don't a, know if there's they a rode, serious force field around you. I don't know if they rode that storm as hard. You know what I mean? Like I hear what you're saying. Like imagine going from if you were transgender your whole life until like the last like three years, shit just sucked. Yeah, nonstop, dude. Oh, for sure. And then the last three years, it went from like everyone being like, "Freak!" <laughs> like at the year at the mall, someone's like, "Nice, nice dick, freak!" Yeah, someone like fucks you and beats you up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know you were a man. It's like, yeah, you did, dude. You're gay. Well, uh, yeah. And then the last three years, they're like, all right, now you make all the rules. It's so, like, okay. What about some sort of like rank system due to like like the age that you trans? That's you get how some stripes, it should be. You get yeah. some stripes going. There should be. I, I think that's good. I've been watching Lady Boys in Thailand. I told you about it. First how of all, great is that? How did Amazon get? Well, I guess Amazon people get mad. I was telling someone about that, and they're like, "You serious? It's called Lady Boys?" He's like, um, excuse me, is this me? Thai culture? Excuse yeah. me, don't please respect the culture. Please, a bunch of European values all over Thai culture. No, I love those Lady Boys. 
Dude. What did you think of them? When they were frolicking out in the water? What were you thinking? I, wait, which, which one was that? All the ladies. I only boys. saw the second episode. Every episode, they're frolicking, dude. That is, they are frolicking big time. They are having a, they're, it's rumpus time. I mean, dude, <laughs> that's the move, though, dude. If you get married twice and it doesn't work. Move to Thailand. Thailand, lady boy on the back of a moped. You ride off into the sunset, dude. Bro. Bring the pigs to the village. That, that's a good life. Go to your, dude, I'm like watching that, just trying to get in these dudes' heads. And they're like, I mean, hey, man, it just is what it is. You know, They're all British, too. Which they're is great. all they're British. Like, There's nothing gay about it, I suppose. <laughs> but, uh, like, Maybe it's gay. Maybe we need to expand to what we're thinking about, dude. It's so <laughs> fucking funny. Yeah, the uh, the f- I think the first episodes of the one with the dad and the kid. Yep. Did you watch that one? Yeah, I saw dude, that. Dude, that's like my favorite show I've ever seen. That was really good. Bringing his kid out that he yeah. his estranged son that he left in England. Yep. He moved and lives with lady boys, and then he calls his son out, and he's like, "Yo, come to Thailand, check of, this shit." The whole out. time he's like, "I'm not going to act different around me, go my girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, it's the same me. We're going to be kissing all over." Ugh. Then when he brings him to the bar, dude, how about like, when they're in the waterfall? Him and his oh. the dad and his his lady boy are just like going at it, and dude. the son's just getting his head. He's, he's like sitting underneath the waterfall watching. The dad had like a twenty four hour like in the pool boner. Did you ever have? Did you ever like crunch your bay in the pool? You just have like a pig dick. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't even get to the end of this. Sure. Uh, so the trans lady in Toronto that was mm-hmm. like kind of dictating what was going on in the scene ended up <laughs> you like that <laughs> uh ended up uh definitely having beat up a bunch of her partners whoa like physically abused women <laughs> she physically abused a bunch that of british a bunch of twice divorced british men <laughs> no it was just canadian broads i think pre-transition is what the story i was told what now i'm not naming anybody because i don't know any of these if this story is true sure, at sure. All, but pretty pretty nice twist yeah. But they're like, it turns out that that transgender lady was knocking broads around before they transitioned. Well, that's not fair. She was a woman fighter trapped in a man's body. True. So, yeah, but that's you. like being excuse you. trapped in one of those fucking like mechs. <laughs> <laughs> Starship troopers. Yeah, dude. Yeah, excuse you, dude. She was a pardon, fucking. Pardon me. That was a woman UFC fighter. That's all dudes are. That's what domestic violence people are. They're just true. Wrong just, body, bro. True. That's actually a decent argument. Like, if you hit your wife, be like, I'm actually a woman. And Sorry, I'm. I was, I'm yeah, I was in the process of trapped trying. in this body. Technically, yeah. that was just an even fight. It's basically why I hit her. Spiritually, that was an even fight. <laughs> Physically, not as much. So this person was just plowing down girlfriends, just one, two. Rumor has it, left, right, yeah. hook, yeah. jab. This is tapping square. Conor McGregor shoulder punch. Definitely. <laughs> She's like, "Come here, give me a hug." Fuck you. Yeah, that seems. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be a reoccurring theme with people who are like, just like. I mean, people are, some people are woke. There's people who are aggressively woke. And whenever yeah. you scratch their little lottery ticket, you're like, oh, you beat your girlfriend? Or, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you're, yeah. you know, you know, you know. Yeah. Friends with a rapist? Okay. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah. there's always some shit going on. When you're out here fucking digging through everyone's trash can, it's like, let's go to, yeah. let's go to the landfill, bro. <laughs> what do you got? For, what, <laughs> yeah, what, what are fucking, you doing? What fish bones you got buried under your trash? Well, I mean, it's, it's the same thing as anybody that's like a, like somebody who's being a tyrant in the community, whether whether they're hiding behind being woke or yeah. whatever, it's like doesn't there's something bad. Sure, you cannot just like I don't know. Yeah, to be that out. Yeah, I mean it's just if you're out there like yelling at people, projecting it's like, onto other what people. The fuck is wrong like, with you're you? You're a fucking piece of shit. And it's like yeah, okay, yeah, I know. The uh, yeah, that I was watched. Uh, here. That is that's a, that's delightful. I watched. Uh, you know, it sucks for her sparring partners, but. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I watched uh what the fuck's the movie you told me to watch? Parasite last night. Sick, right? Great movie. I knew you'd love it. Dude. Great. Yo, was, Trump that, Daddy hated on it. What was this? Oh, they made fun of Kim Jong un, of course. True. That was yo, they threw fucking shots at Kim Jong. If you were South Korean, you would fucking hate North Korea. Dude, first of all, that's embarrassing. It's just a guy with nukes pointed at you all day, every day. Well, it's also well, embarrassing to nukes. be the dictator of half of a country. If you're like the supreme lord, yeah, how can't you conquer the other half of your country? I was watching that like, dude, that's got to chap his fucking ass. Like, they're like, well, what about South Korea? He's like, well, fuck them. They're, they're, we'll get yeah. that. Don't worry, we'll get it back. Don't we're, worry. We're gonna, we're gonna get give that. Give me a minute. God damn it! Give me a minute. <laughs> like South Korea just rules. Yeah. Compared, like you're in a, you're like lording over a third world country. Uh, dude, they have like a literal. So somehow they've just kept this weird monarchy. To where what, like, North Korea? yeah, like, and it, everyone's just like, all right, I guess. 
Well, it's, it's fucking... not really somehow. Yeah, true. <laughs> so I'll tell you how. Top, he's top shotter. Yeah. He's been lighting people he's up. He's a it's... rude boy. He's a rude boy, dude. But He's it's, a big time rude boy. It's also like, that must be so weird. Like, they literally shit on him in that movie. Yeah. They start mocking him and fucking with him. And it, dude, he, you know he watched it. He probably has it, a, fa- a fire stick. He probably has the only fire stick in Korea. And was like, oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he probably saw that and just angle the missiles. Was like, dude, fuck this angle. Oh, that was, yeah. All dude, day long. You should have seen Trump Daddy talking shit on Parasite, though. What was he saying? He was just like, you know, he's giving a speech in like Colorado or something. He's like, the movies today, they're giving an award to a different country. They're not even from here. <laughs> like shit like that. Oh, they didn't put America first, I guess. Yeah, that's what he was pissed about. Wow. Yeah. That's fucked up, actually. That movie ruled. That movie is so fucking good. Yeah. I'm, I'm with him, though. That's bullshit, dude. You don't like it. Dude, we can't have our movie awards leaving this country. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we can't. We're losing too many jobs, dude. Yeah, movie. We, can't, we can't lose art house films, dude. We need movies to be made in America. For sure. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask Amazon for my money back. True. That's obviously Bezos, dude. The yeah. fucking, his oh, I read a thing newspaper. about it. You know the rock that was the kid got? It was You know how I, I didn't even think about it when I watched it. Like when it was floating. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, so the rock's hollow and is empty. When does it, it float? When the house flooded. Oh, Remember? that's how he flo- survived getting fucking cracked in the head. Because the rock was just a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. Then it wasn't it underwater at the end though. No, Did it was p- floating like on the surface. Oh, it's hollow. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Just that's like, awesome. Just like the dream of upward mobility. It's fake and hollow. Yeah, North. They were kind. There was some glaring fucking. Uh, you know how the classism that Parasite was taking on. Yeah, they're the also, metaphors were like pretty clear. It's like they're in the basement, they're trying to come up, yeah. shit like that. But they could have done it if they weren't idiots. <laughs> yeah, they chilled and like not pigged out and got drunk in the house. That dude, that might be the best sex scene I've ever seen in a movie. Oh, where he just yeah, fingers dude. her in pajamas oh. and gets a hand job on the couch while his oh. son while his son's in a teepee. <laughs> oh. Dude, get me going. Yeah, that that definitely tainted the porn searches, dude. Really? For sure. A night, or at yeah, least that was nice. Just in it. front, of, just a just shitty family under the table while you're getting a handy. Dude, so he's like counterclockwise nipple rub. I'm like, dude, I, I forgot about nipple play. I, I gotta bring that back. True. I dude, I used to like adhere to like strip, like strict nipple techniques of like, all right, I'm gonna do this. To now it's like I don't even think about it. Really? I gotta bring my shit. I'm a big nipple guy. I'll get it. I'll go right after you. Suck, nipples. Sucking nipples. Love sucking nipples. Dude. Love sucking nipples. I'm talking like, a, like let me lick my finger and hit. Like, dude, when I was in seventh grade, I would work nipples like they were like like clits. Yeah, I'd be like, oh my god, dude, I'm fine. This is fucking. I'm, she's gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. But yeah, Parasite fucking ruled. That was good. That was really good. I was happy I saw that. Happy I saw Lady Boys in Thailand. Episode third gender. Whatever the dude, the one with the fucking father and son, Lady Boys, is one of the funniest episodes. That was when the guy starts a bar. That was pretty good too. True. He starts the bar and he's like, "Yeah, I'm just down here living the good life." True. He's a Chad, dude. He's a Chad. He's jacked, bro. Dude, when they tease, there's always an undertone though. I mean, for those two episodes where they like kind of tease their Lady Boy girlfriends. They're like, he goes to the beauty show and she's like, what do you think about these girls? He was like, I love you, babe. You're the most pretty. You're obviously the prettiest. And they're like, they're always like, she wants to get married, but what's the point? Yeah. yeah, Government doesn't let men marry each other. (laughs) And I'm like, Jesus, dude, that's fucking. What do you think about that lady boy pageant? Lady boy pageant was dang. (laughs) That was a good pageant. That was a great. Well, it's funny too. As a lady, lady boys are basically like comedians. Yeah. Where it's like, if you're like True. bottom of the barrel, People are like fucking loser. Yeah. If you ascend, everyone's like, yo, that's. That's the pride of our country. Yeah. Like, I'm proud. Dude, yeah. I'm, that's fucking tight. And they have Buddhism. So it's like, it's not. Being a lady boy is not a big deal. If you don't take care of your family, that's when it's fucked up. So if you, yeah, L, if was, you LB was, out and get paid, it's like, people are like, good for you. Yeah. Without the. I mean, yeah. The fact that they were like becoming LBs to like feed their village. Yeah. Pretty honorable. It's dude. It's the it's the most honorable. You gotta thing. suck a British dude, dude. And that's the when they come home, when they go to the villages mm. of the family. That's the most awkward thing, dude. When they're like, yeah, most of these relationships are just kind of like thinned out or whatever. These guys are getting taken advantage of, but that's not what it's like for me, though. And it's like, nah, yeah, sure, maybe man. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Why don't you bring that UNICEF bag of rice over here? <laughs> like they're not like this whole village isn't using you. <laughs> He's like, all I did was loan her a little nine thousand dollars to start the ball. That's it. And now I just relax. And it's yeah. like, yeah, dude, that's like an unattainable fortune you brought over there. 
You set you set up like a, yeah. a dynasty. A couple dude. lady boys had braces. It's like, damn, that's a come up. Titty jobs, bro. <sighs> that was tight. The one got the titty job in the second yeah. episode. Yeah, that's like that. Yeah, that's a, like bar mitzvah. That's a big deal. That's a fucking. They're coming out. That was a lot of frolicking, dude. A lot of frolicking. A lot of beach frolicking, and I didn't <laughs> like that because I was I was watching it to laugh, and then every once in a while I'd be like, "Oh man, that one's pretty good." <laughs> it's um, it's one of those things that's like a brain warp where you're just kind of yeah, like, of course. Okay, and then you I get into the like when I'm like an apartment, like just taking dumps, farting, all that stuff. Oh. I, I get into like the the real nitty gritty. Yeah, that's of when it. you I'm start like, to realize this might be a bit of a lady man. The reality it's check, like yeah, dumping hard. <laughs> Even if, like, dude, you call people can call it whatever you exactly. You can be like, no, that's a woman. It's like, well, seeing a woman fart like that with throwing, you know what I mean? Of like, dude, was you when they're moving stuff, when they're oh, they're moving yeah. stuff in the apartment? Like, come on, you strong girl, I see. And I'm like, that's where like my brain just like it statics out, and I'm like, is I static between man and woman in my head? Yeah. So I'll be like, woman, and I'll see like veins coming out, moving forearms. I'm like, dude, 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 and it's like, <laughs> it's hard, dude. It's my cross I have to bear. True. I get like the fucking like the Matrix visions like and I'm like see like a dude I'm like ah, ah, shake it off <laughs> when they do the pre- well like the Matrix vision where he sees like actual planet Earth and it's like all <laughs> shitty and, like, falling apart he's like oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah man that's that's tough dude that's tough yeah stuff. that's all yeah especially over there I bet those toilets are like every every country I've been to the toilets just suck dude England was the same you dump dude it's just turd on porcelain ah. there's like no water. That sucks, man. It's wild. Yeah, you come in on your LB girlfriend, just like feet on the toilet bowl, taking a dump, hovering over. It's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like a cat. You ever see when a cat learns how to use a toilet? <laughs> it's how LBs dump. <laughs> oh my god. Did you watch the uh did you watch the debates? No. They're pretty funny. I heard they Bloomberg <laughs> I saw the highlights. Bloomberg just got rocked. <laughs> Who, Minnie? Yeah, Dude, Minnie Mike just got <laughs> murdered. Joe, he doesn't even call him Minnie Mike anymore, he calls him Minnie. Which is so fucking funny. Minnie's out, dude. He, he might got. As, he might as well support Minnie. Dude, yeah, he, Trump will. You'll see. I think Trump will start to support Minnie. He did. He said. He goes. I hope. He said something like, "Just he made fun of him, basically. Yeah, just being like, I hope he wins because oh my god, if, if that's how he debates, dude, just like crushed him. Well, that's because that's like what he did last time with Bernie, where he was like, Bernie should win. You guys yeah. are fucking him over because I think he knew the Democrats were going to do that. This time, I don't know if they can. I don't think it so. It seems like Bernie has to win. Uh, Warren is not. Warren was fucking trying to ether everybody, dude. It was pretty funny. Yeah, they even well, played the music. <clears throat> oh yeah, well, a I lot of the, I saw yeah, that clip. They, yeah. Well, yeah, he apparently that's the thing too, man. He obviously doesn't realize in American politics if you get caught making fun of a lady, like calling her like a horse faced lesbian, you have to pin it to a famous like. He could have been yeah. like, yeah, well, I only t- I was talking about Ellen DeGeneres. And everyone's like, oh. Yeah. That's what Trump did. He well, should Trump have watched did that, the tapes. Trump did that at a Republican. Well, True. There were Republicans there. True this was that. just a DNC. He couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't be like only Rosie O'Donnell. That was only Rosie. <sighs> well, dude, that I swear to God, I I've said this before. I don't understand. Like, if they're not going to like fact check in real time, what's the point of the debate? I don't. I've been saying it on stage. If I was a Democrat, I'd be <clears throat> begging to get rid of the debates. Yeah, it's stop. the only thing Trump has. Yeah. He's going to fuck up whoever they bring. He just yeah. eats them up, dude. Put him in a mixed crowd, dude, and people are just like, it's so funny, too. He's going to be getting booed heavily. Trump dog? Yeah. Please. But. He loves the boos, bro. It, I, it's you just, can't. Yeah, but it'll be half cheers. I know. If somebody boos, then somebody that loves Trump next to him will scream louder. Yeah, that's true. Like, Come on, Trump, get him. Come on. <laughs> Get that Jew. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's, I was wondering if there was like some Jew beef between Bloomberg and Sanders. At one point, that you you heard him whisper off mic, he's like, "Are you mean a fucking Jew, bro? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this?" Yeah, I don't know. The uh, Cause Sanders is so Jewy about hating money that it's just kind of like, "What the fuck? What's wait, going what? on?" Wait, what? He's he like he has he whole talk so Jewy about hating money. It's just like, well, "What is this?" Jeez, we have too much money. <laughs> <You're> like, what? <laughs> right, what? Right. <laughs> well, it's just, what <laughs> huh? well, wait, yo, chill, chill, chill. What are you doing? <laughs> Doing over there, bro. Dude, I'm, I'm all been talking too much to Billy, bro. I'm all Sanders. I haven't, I haven't talked, dude. I haven't talked to anyone. I called Billy today. My dad's one percent Jew. Excuse me. I know. I forgot. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. My brother's Arabic, dude. I'm voting for Sanders, dude. 100. percent I checked this, dude. People are. There's this guy on Twitter who was like, "Little simple arithmetic." Uh, Bernie Sanders doesn't understand, and it was like. If you tax things 50% and like, you know, if that person's making $30,000 a year, then you give them $15 minimum wage. 
and then tax that at 50 percent and puts that person back down to making like like nine bucks an hour but it was like you don't tax until you hit the specific bracket so yeah. that person's income would be taxed at whatever was over that and this guy's like it's a little simple arithmetic and everyone's like fucking idiot uh, and yeah. it's like 80 percent. i would say no i would honestly say 75 percent of people don't know how the tax code works i just learned like last year yeah, like when they're like fifty percent tax, it's like fifty percent tax on over a hundred thousand. So if you yeah. made one hundred twenty, you're gonna get taxed on that twenty thousand, yeah. and they're gonna take a little bit. So when he was, uh, when people were like, "Fucking idiot!" Damn, dude, how pissed would the listeners be if they found out we were both Bernie Bros, dude? Big time, Bernie. I'm Yang Bernie. Yang Gang. Now that Yang Gang's out, dude. Ah, see, the thing is, I hate the people that are so outwardly in love with Bernie. That's and all. It's just that's all facade. Me. Give me fucking health care. Give me free fucking health care. Health is big, dude. I, I don't need care. some health care. I don't give a fuck about anything else. People yeah. hit you with like, oh, dude. I, I've had people message me and be like, dude, I mean, I hear what you're saying. I hope you're not serious. Here's a whole paragraph from the Drudge Report. And it's like, bro, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. I mean, this, I want. If I can get some free health care, that'd be pretty sick. Uh, and another thing that was funny, my dad was trying to hit me with that. He was like, well, then he's going to, how do you feel? You just paid off your student loans. How do you feel about that? Now everybody doesn't have to. I'm like, yep. Yeah. It's how that goes. Let it roll. I'll be all right. Let it roll. Just because I paid, I'm not going to be like, everyone should pay. True. No, I ain't no bitch. No. Also, it's like, dude. give me a thousand bucks. Can't get that. What else can I get? Healthcare? Okay. Give me yes. that. Give me that. True. But now that we're both staunch capitalists and making bread. True. Maybe we should Yeah, we might get dropped over. by Halliburton, dude. Our sponsor, <laughs> Halliburton, might drop us, dude. True. We're still poor enough that Bernie would still help. True. Us. Well, that was funny. The first we year that. with the Patreon money, we're like, we're fucked, dude. We're going to get crushed. Oh, we're, gonna, yeah. we're not going to pay taxes. We looked it up. It was just basically like a garbage man salary. <laughs> yeah, neither of us really made that much money. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I thought I was so rich. Dude, I was like, dude, we're going to get the IRS is going to take everything. And I like added the numbers up for 2019. I yeah. was like, all right. We're probably going to make money. School, <laughs> teachers, make, school teachers make a little yeah, more. Yeah. That was funny. Um, yeah, we are. The, the cast is. Cast is sending now. Yeah. I'm 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 talking politically. I'm not endorsing anybody, bro. The only I, person I endorse is Yang, dude. I vote with my wallet, bro. That's it. What works out the best financially for me? That's how I vote. Yeah. That's all. That's what else? What the fuck are you doing otherwise? I don't know. It's, maybe for the uh, maybe for the benefit of the country. What if all this mumbo jumbo socialism crushes America? What do you think of that? How is it going to crush us, Matt? I don't know. How is it going to crush? I us? I don't know anything. I'm probably not going to vote. Dude, I'm telling you, we're. Again. I've never done it in my life. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna do it. I'm definitely gonna hit the polls. Dude, I, I leave, told you what I, I did, leave right? For one week, you become a full fledged hippie liberal, bro. No, I, dude, I so I could vote wherever I want. I just said I'm homeless, bro. That way, I can go wherever I want and vote. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Now I'm not homeless, though. So, I was homeless for a week while it happened. So technically. Yeah, I don't. I think I. I think I would have. I was to vote. thinking about moving. I was like basically homeless. <laughs> I think I would have to vote in PA. Yeah. So if you're homeless, well, you register homeless. You can vote wherever you want. Yeah. That's how you mobilize the troops, dude. Trump wants to keep me from the fucking polls, dude. Yeah, dude. They're trying to redline me? us. Excuse no. me? No. Not going to happen. I'll probably get arrested tonight for registering <laughs> homeless. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. England was all right. English people are... They all right. Yeah. I fucks with them. I like English people. Never. I never really fucked with them. I, I, I fucked with one English guy one time. Yeah? Mm-hmm. How'd it go with that? He was cool. He was cool as fuck. I was in Brazil. Oh, nice. We chilled. Yeah. He was tight. Yeah, the way they talk fucking annoys me, though. Mm-hmm. Everybody thinks they're clever. Just the way they talk. Everybody, like, speaks in, like, a... I don't know how to describe it. Like, like Shakespeare stuff? Yeah. It's like, uh, no matter what the conversation, it has to be, like, some weird, like... If it continues this way, won't be much left to show for it, you know? Like, something like that. Yeah. Where it's just like, how about you just say, this sucks? Yeah, instead I, I, the, there has the, to always be like a witty fucking. They have like the rich remark. Turn, yeah, like the turn of phrases are really yeah. kind of yeah. But we went to the first night we were there. We went to Chelsea versus Man U. Mm-hmm. It's fucking sick, dude. Soccer. Oh how, yeah, how was the soccer? As game? gay as soccer is on TV, live, dude, that shit. I mean, I, I play football, but yeah, I hear you. You guys have fun. What do you mean you play? Football? I'm more of a football player. Like what? I I hold down football over soccer. Like I'm in seventh grade. Remember in seventh grade and you hear people play soccer and you're like pussy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch. I still hold it down like well, that. Well, American Foot American fairy. soccer players are fucking Foot fairy, dude. Yeah. I'm a football player, dude. <laughs> Look, dude. I feel you. <laughs> Did you boo them the whole time? Like yeah, the fuck time. this, dude. No, they were like apparently we were sitting in a section that like 
if they would have found out we were cheering for United, we would have gotten a fight, which would have been pretty funny. We went to a bar afterwards, and they, they have, like, security outside of the But we went to a Chelsea bar after the game. Mm-hmm. After the match. Pardon me. Yes, yes, pardon yes. me. Uh, after the match. On the pitch. Head down to the pub, isn't it? How was that? Uh, the pub, I suppose. It was all right. <laughs> a couple of points with the lads. Uh but we went in there, and before we went in, they have, like, security out front to make sure no away fans come. What? Because I guess away fans show up and try to fight the home team. So they had, like, these bouncers out front that were like, are you Chelsea boys? And we were like, uh, no, we really don't care. He was like, so you don't support Chelsea? I was like, yeah, we support him. He's like, all right, go ahead. Okay. Like, you had to, at the, yeah, he was like, okay, we can drop this facade that we're, yeah. like, maximum security here yeah i was like no we're from america we just we're trying to get just hanging out yeah that's funny but he was like are you chelsea boys <laughs> trying he, to get us to be like, all ordered, right on he almost ordered you by the peaky blinders dude they all ordered by peaky blinders <laughs> like by order of the chelsea boys you know i didn't have a point <laughs> uh so we got in there just a bunch of dads mm-hmm. just chelsea dads dude it's not as like hooligans as you thought no, well they took an l two nothing at home the the Man U fans were so fucking funny, dude. Oh, man. There was we were right next to the Man U section, mm-hmm. and it's they literally section it off like the whole staircase, and in front of their section is all security. Like you can't get near them because they fight. Jesus, and these Christ. dudes the whole it's because they don't have guns, dude. True, yeah. England. This is look. Everybody shits on us for having guns. You you can avoid all these dumb fist fights. True. Because the idea that, oh, yeah, maybe if we go to that pub, somebody's going to have a gun. Someone's going to shoot shouldn't do that. ass. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's not bad. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. A little Second Amendment. Yeah. What is their, right what is their black eye rate over there? How many it's black eyes insane. do people get over there? It's got to be crazy. So it can, is it like, like uh, socially acceptable to like go into work with like a shiner on your eye and be like, going to fight at the match? I was down at the Chelsea match, lost 2-0, didn't it? And then I suppose got in a fight. All right. <laughs> Bit of a dust up down at the pub <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> a bartender let in the Chelsea boys. A couple of the Chelsea boys came in. We got in a fight with them. <laughs> Nothing, no, but a bit of a dust up. <laughs> Dude, all the bars closed at like fucking 11, too. Why? I was furious. <laughs> I had no idea. They're probably going to the town square to fight, dude. I don't know what was going on. They, But yeah, it was probably the same adjusted thing. their Jeff Caps, dude, and marched dude. in like to cool music. Like, We're going down to fight United, isn't it? Did you slice, did you slice anyone with your Jeff Caps? I several. Cap? I sliced a Connie a couple of times. He's like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they at the one game we went to Tottenham versus all oh, the Germans were fired up, dude. Really, it was fun to watch a bunch of Germans chanting. I was like, oh boy, oh. they get rowdy, dude. I bet. So it was this German team at Tottenham, and uh, again, the section is just Germans. You, mm-hmm. It's so much so that the, the you can't even walk through that part of the stadium. Yeah, like we got in and our seats were on the other side of them. And we're like, can we please? It's just one more door, and they're like, you can't go through here. You have to walk the whole way around the stadium. Why would to you get to you your could seats. have said you're a German fan? What, what's the problem? You have to get tickets. You like have to German like, fan tickets. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, bro. That's weird. Well, I guess dudes would. Yeah, they would lie and be like, yeah, I'm just passing through, and then they'd run in, flick everybody off, and start a fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Pretty fun, especially just for soccer. Yeah, true. It's a bunch of like hot dudes with cool haircuts running around. Yeah. People, it's just a bunch of fat English dudes that all look like Phil up in the stands like, oh, fuck you, you fucking wanker. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, that is so funny because I can still remember going home from like basketball practice in my friend's dad's car and his his dad being like, can you believe he wants to play soccer? He's a fucking foot fairy, dude. And he's being <laughs> yeah, like dude. furious. Yeah. Now over there, it's like that's as cool as it gets. Like, as yeah. cool as it gets, as tough as it gets. Do you bring a club? Can you carry like a club with you at all? Mm, Are you allowed to carry like a like weapons? Like a bludgeon? Yeah, like I don't know. Like a, I think they're pretty strict object. against knives there too. Yeah, I think you carry a blunt object in England. Yeah, like a pipe, like a pipe or a pole. Yeah, a bit of a pipe. <laughs> Go down, fight some of the Chelsea boys <laughs> if need be. But uh, yeah, the the best part was Man U versus Chelsea. The Manchester United fans the whole time they're just talking shit like crazy amounts mm-hmm. of shit. And then Man U scored first, so they were all... They do this with their hands, like a jerk-off symbol. They're like, oh, you fucking wanker. Fuck. It's great. When the other team scores or when their team scores? Just that's how they talk shit to each other gotcha, from across gotcha. the stadium. And then, They're uh, all just jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> they all oh. air jerking off, like, fuck you. And uh, so, man, so then Chelsea scored. 
So all the Chelsea fans were like, oh, fuck you, you pussies, in your fucking face. But then they were, they looked at the replay and took it off the board. So then all the Man U fans stood back up and were like, oh, you fucking like <laughs> It's pretty great. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, it was fun the whole time. Um, went to see Chappelle. That was fucking sick. In London? Chappelle was performing in London. What? Pretty tight. Yeah, How was bro. that? Pretty sick. Nice. A little VIP treatment. <laughs> Got to meet the dog. Did you really? Say no more. I'll say no more. <laughs> That's awesome, on, dude. Man. Smoking fucking smoking fags with Dave Chappelle. Oh, you got to smoke cigarettes? Not so bad, is it? I suppose. That's awesome. Yeah, bro. Um, How was the show? It was so funny. Fuck. Dude, he's like, it's crazy how funny he is. Yeah, he's a monster. Yeah. Just saying whatever. Talking shit, dude. Doing his goddamn thing. It's good to watch. It's nice to see, dude. But uh, then the, the fucking... Flight, yo, the flight there. I, I fucking bought out and bought, dude. That did I show you? I showed it was you like that. IMAX, dude. It this was shit looks crazy. That's I got fucking... first class on this flight there, and it was like a bed. It was so sick. And then the flight back, I got fucked, dude. Yeah, how was going back to coach? Not great. Not great. Damn, you should have pissed in that bed. You're allowed to. <laughs> yeah, You're allowed you know, to. You have to wet the bed. <laughs> you can shit and piss. You gotta in tell bed. the pilot. <laughs> you gotta knock on the cabin door and be like, I'm gonna wet the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Can I stay with you guys? <laughs> the ride got bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, have you have you uh, have you got into that Twitter beef between the dude from Barstool Sports and the other hockey player? Oh my God, Carcillo! Yeah, dude. Dude, he was a flyer. He was a Philadelphia flyer. He was a bully. <laughs> yeah, he was a he was a Broad Street bully, dude. Did you get into the the allegations levied against him? I saw. I think I saw that, or you told me one. They of were them. Fu- dude. They had they were going ham on each other. What were the allegations? So well, all right, start from the top. Of what so the, the, the one guy, I don't know the other the guy who the hockey guy who works at Barstool. His name's yeah. like the it's like a well known name if you follow hockey. I, I forget the guy's name. He made comments. It was about, Wayne Gretzky? It, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> Wayne. Wasn't Lindros? Wasn't Leclerc? Somebody else? I don't know who it was. But he's on Barstool and he was talking about maybe I don't know what he does, but he was talking about one of his coworkers as like a sports commentator and was basically like, "Yo, she's hot." Oh, that's Jeremy Roenick. That was Roenick. Yeah. Ronick was the one who said his co-host was hot, yeah. and he got fired for it. Okay. He was at NBC, and he got fired because okay. he made some comments on a Barstool podcast. It's called gotcha. Sp- Spitting Chicklets. Who is the... Was there another host? Jeremy or? Ronick was the one who got fired. Was there a host of that podcast who's a I f- ex-hockey yes. player? Yeah, I forget who it is, though. It's like he is like a, he was talking about it. So that guy was talking mess. I forget his name. Dude, did you hear what Ronick said? What? It was nothing. What? He was talking about Ronick got fired because he was on that podcast and he was like, he went to Portugal with his wife and his co-host yeah. because his co-host, this lady, is like best friends with his wife. Yeah. Like they're friends. Mm-hmm. They were on a trip together, the three of them. And he was like, yeah, walking around the hotel with these two hot blonde chicks. Like everybody working there was kind of looking at me like, damn, dude, are you fucking both of them? And I was like, Psh, yeah. Yeah. That's what he got fired for. Really? Yeah. Well, didn't she say basically like, yeah, I can't believe he would like say that. Oh, did she? I don't know. Again, I'm I'm just I'm in a tweet storm, dude. So I don't know. I think. Yeah, maybe she was. She might have been like, yeah, it's upsetting, or somebody else did. I don't know. But the uh, so Carcilli comes on the scene. He's like, dude, disgusting. He goes, disgusting, disgusting. He's like, it's fuck. He comes up with all the shit like this is disgusting. This is you know misogyny. And then someone from Barstool, not the dude who got fired, this other guy, this other hockey player, was like, bro, I think they had back and forth. And then finally, this dude leaked the DOS on card. Yeah. It was a. He's like, "You want me to slide this DOS? Tough one, bro. Well, let me hear the DOS. It's like, so he come he uh, so he got accused of being an N word user, but he goes so he goes. Uh, first of all, I thought I thought that's what they chanted in hockey. I thought like one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so he comes out and he's like, so this guy accused like N word user, um, saying a bunch of other stuff and then also that he used to at one point wear a, a robe under his hockey garment with swastikas on it <laughs> <laughs> so the dude comes out on he does like a twitter apology he's like i would like to say that uh yes i uh his allegations of me using uh the n-word are correct and i apologize but i'd like to give some context uh you know we, we would joke around a lot and and he actually would say it all the time, and uh, he called me a uh, a dumb. And he would say he's he would make fun of himself, saying I'm a dumb n, and I joined in on that a couple times. <laughs> I'm like, dude, what? And then he just, he's like talking about all the other stuff, and he was like, uh, as far as the uh, wearing a robe with swastikas on it, I, I've never. I just continue to deny that. I've never done. He's like, I don't. I that's no. I've, that's that's never never did that. Yeah. Like, what a great accusation. 
Dude, like, first dude, of all, under your uniform, you wore swastikas. He said his what? coach, according again, yeah, this is all allegations. Yeah. The dude who slid the DOS, his buddy said like that their coach was like, bro, chill. You can't have a swastika robe under your thing. In wow. hockey back then, a hockey coach was like, bro, too far. <laughs> too yeah. far. Too far. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> again, yeah, the coach these are like, allegations. You know, I think the bit's good. I think you got a good bit going, but maybe, you know, take maybe, it easy on the swastikas. <laughs> <laughs> maybe tuck it in or something at least. Take it in. Yeah, dude. The... Uh, I mean, dude, how funny would that be? Just rolling around on the ice being as racist as possible. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, man. You could get away with it for a while. <laughs> you have a fucking clan. Until PK all... Subban showed up. True. And now you got, everyone's like, yo, chill, chill, yeah, chill. Put chill. the fucking swastika robes <laughs> yeah. away. Hide the swastika robes, dude. Yeah. Imagine how charged up on the ice you are with fucking swastikas <laughs> on. <laughs> you have Nazi paraphernalia on the Watch ice. Watch some Carcillo highlights, dude. He was a beast. Yeah, man. He was a beast. Well, I think his he's against he like, was a He was a goon. He's he a, yeah, he was big time yeah. goon. He's against concussions now. Yeah, I bet he's pissed about that. Who's a goon, dude? Yeah, man. He's lucky that the, there was a position that like dealt concussions. That was his job. Yeah, he wouldn't have been in the NHL if it wasn't for his ability to hit people in the head to make them you know like fuck like them it up. was like oh we can't. It's so, like the point of a goon is to protect your best players. Mm -hmm. So, like, if somebody hits your best player, they you... put out a retarded guy like Carcillo <laughs> wearing all swastikas, <laughs> and he goes and beats the shit out of you. <laughs> well, it's also such a funny game that, like, you can just fist fight in the middle of it, and they're like, hey, get over Okay, over here. Come yeah, on. Yeah, knock yeah. it off, boys. You got to sit down for five minutes. You can't just fist fight. Dude, yeah. if I fist fought somebody in a game, it'd be it'd be crazy. I have no, like, I, I'd I don't have to their that. house later. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be I'd be in the penalty box scream crying. <laughs> like, you motherfucker! You fucking hit me in front of all these people. He fucking started it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'd be nerd raging the whole time, dude. Yeah, dude, if I got in a fist fight during a game, I got like need once when I was on the ground. Like I remember it was like the first play I, I got in varsity my sophomore year, the first scrimmage. Mm -hmm. Against Halifax, dude. Watch Ooh, out. Well, Halifax that's a good program. Fuck. No, that's some boys up in the mountains. That's some white trash from up in the mountains. Some good wrestlers, dude. Fuck, they are good wrestlers. Yep. They had this one dude that was that played like, uh, you know, it was one of those things where they just had like a 16-year-old playing peewees. Nice. He would just fuck us up every year, and then it came out. <laughs> he was like old. old as fuck. Yeah. But no, they would be, but there's one dude, I remember the first play, he like need, I was like on my, I was like on all fours, like towards the end of the play, and he fucking need me. And I, I immediately started like, I was like, you fucking need me? Spaz, <laughs> yeah, huh? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I got if, I, if I get in a fight, I, I spaz. Yeah, I got punched in the eye in rugby. Some dude in the middle of the play just went pop and just hit me in the eye. And I was like, what the fuck? Really? Some bullshit, dude. Yeah, I, I got called for a clip in, in this one game and I almost cried. Yeah. In the huddle. That'll happen. It was like a big game. I was all fired up. I got called. There's big play. Got called back because I clipped, and I was in the huddle. Like, when the fuck kind of calls that? <laughs> like, relax, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, if I strike out in baseball, I was like... I mean, that's a guaranteed cry. Squeezing tears back. Oh, that's a like, guaranteed oh, cry, my bro. My family's here. Everybody saw how gay I am. <laughs> <laughs> my Aunt Kathy's here. <laughs> Not in front of my aunt, you piece of shit, bitch. <laughs> that ball was really close to me. It's unfair. <laughs> I swang out of fear. <laughs> Dude, I fucking sucked at baseball. Bro, baseball is the hardest sport in the world. How did baseball players not get called gay before soccer? Because they're like, yeah, yeah they're kind of bros. First of all, I got Mark McGuire hard at the doctor recently. He told me my BMI was too high. I'm like, dude, Mark McGuire is technically obese, dude. You know something <laughs> called muscle mass? You know a little something called muscle mass, dude? Dude, the doctor sent me back. I like the I doctor was, hit you with a fat dos. Yeah, basically, <laughs> with the fat. they literally come in with the dos. Oh, they're dude. like, sir, you're fat. It's like, God damn it. He's dude. like, oh, your BMI's up there a little bit, and I was like, yeah, I mean, I fucking yeah, I lift. Thick, Obviously, sorry. I fucking lift. Like, you know, not all of us can be soft hand fucking doctors, dude. True. It's like some of us got to get out and fucking. You should have done that. You should have been like, let me see your hands real quick. <laughs> yeah, I felt him. I shook I'm hands. Soft, I shook hands. I was like, ugh. <laughs> some guy did that to me once. Uh, when I was when I was selling bathtubs, oh, fuck, I like shook his hand and he was like, "He got those office hands," and I was just like, Whoa, <laughs> oh, 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 "Oh, my god, dude!" <laughs> You're slanging tubs, yeah. And he fucking he, he hit, dude. As soon, this guy lived like it was like him in the, in like a shack oh. in Dillsburg with like eight cats, just uh. a lunatic that he was out on like disability. His back got hurt from like 
operating a tractor for too long. <laughs> you're gonna sell him a six thousand dollars. Yeah, I was like, not like forty eight thousand dollar walk in shower. <laughs> I was like, oh, your back's fucked up. Here's all your money, please buy this shower. <laughs> but yeah, right when I shook his hand, he was like, oh, you work in an office, huh? And I was just like, damn, bro. Shit. How'd Damn. you feel about that? Well, it stuck with me today. That you was just, like a decade. Take the sandpaper. <laughs> so long ago. <laughs> it definitely, he's in my head. Every once in a while, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> like, I'll look at my own hand and be like, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that was an app. He fucking destroyed me. Damn. And then obviously, I didn't get the sale. So I just got, I went to some dude's house. He was like, you're a pussy. And I was like, all right, see ya. <laughs> you're on the sidewalk just rubbing your hands. <laughs> Holy fuck, I got home to my girlfriend. I was like, babe, do you think my hands are too soft? <laughs> That's a tough one to judge with bass because like, they'll complain if your hands are too rough. They'll be like, your hands are rough. Get my off hands me. are so soft. If dude. they're too soft. There's women who claim that like, nah, soft hands are where it's at. And there were some women who are like, no, they nah, like bro. A good, they like a good rough. A little rough hand. Yeah, like those paws getting on. You can't. Right? No third yeah. base, dude. You think you can touch nipples like that? Like the True. dude did? True. I, my hands go in between. I got right now, I have... You know, I got some I got some leather on my hands, dude. But not yeah. like when I shake hands with like my uncles and shit who actually do construction all the time. I same thing. I feel like such a pussy. Yeah, I like feel my hand like oh. my hands feel like they have aloe vera all over them, and I shake their hands are just like chapped. Oh man, it's like touching sand. You're like, oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's tough. But yeah, that was uh, God damn, that job was fucking hilarious though. This one time, I I walked in. This guy had birds. Because you would just go to people's houses. Yeah. This dude had birds flying around. I was like, I got to get the fuck out of this. What this was your territory? Wild. Everywhere. So you were like just a like, huge territory, and I didn't make any money. You didn't sell any tubs? I sold one tub, and it got like retracted. <laughs> like 70 <laughs> bucks after like three months of working there. <laughs> yeah. But, That's uh, fucking nuts. Did you ever get into like the network, like the mechanics of a network, like marketing scheme? No. They're pretty nuts, dude. Yeah. I'd imagine wild. someone someone was talking. The ones in Philly, the first that job I got right when I moved yep. here was just purely that. Oh yeah, the- and there was a bunch of those because I was looking for jobs here, and every job was like that. Like, are you ready for like a cool business opportunity? It's just young people, fast paced, and it's like we hang out, we get drinks afterwards, but the whole you know, yeah, yeah, it's all about like taking people off of their Comcast plan and getting yeah. them an introductory rate. Yep, pretty that tight. Was it. It's pretty tight hustle. Yeah, it's a weird hustle. Those yeah, but, dudes that do it are weird. Oh, dude, they're sociopaths. Yeah. They're literal sociopaths, dude. Yeah, you just trick poor idiots. They're like giving you 200 bucks, and you're like, all right, well, yeah. here's a fucking, here's light fraud you can commit. Yeah. And then, <laughs> hey, the person with the best sales gets to go to sandals. Ooh. Dude, imagine cleaning up on the fucking Comcast things within like a Walmart and then hitting sandals afterwards. That's actually pretty tight. Dude. Pretty tight. Yeah. Wait, were we talking about... Somebody hit me up. It was so funny. A dude... Uh, I think he's either Canadian or Australian. I forget. He works at a bowling alley. We were talking about working in the back of one of those. He's behind the pins? Yeah. He works He works in the back. He's like, I take naps whenever I want. Just fucking... Just like, yes, For real? man. Yeah. I guess no one... Yeah, that's one of those things where like you can't... It's like being an IT guy. Like, nobody understands yeah. what you do. You're pretty much... They're at your mercy. Yeah. No like, one oh, can figure I it out. These pins, man. This is a... On a 7-10 split, sometimes it throws it into chaos. Yeah, you got to sit back. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can just chill back there. Fuck. Yeah, sick gig. That's pretty tight. But yeah, I'm working on the uh, jet lags. Got me fucked up, boy. Jet it's lag hard. sucks. It's hard. I'm all right right now. I got it back. But there were there was a day on the trip where we we slept the whole fucking day. Yeah, to get used to it. It was wild. And I then have, when I got back yesterday, I slept. I have like life lag. Went right to now. bed at like 4 p.m. yesterday. Did you really? Yeah. I figured you checked out early. Honestly, yeah. I figured you tuned out. Yeah. I have just a fucked up sleep schedule right now where I just go to, I take a nap every day at four o'clock and stay up till 12 and wake up at six and I'm tired all day and I take a nap. I have a headache. I have like a splitting <laughs> headache right now. <laughs> I just mismanage my sleep. Just get ready. Your sleep's about to get real true, fucked dude. up. dude. That's true. Damn, you're, Matt's, Matt's about a week away from being a dad. Potentially, dude. If the baby doesn't come late, yeah. Yeah, wow. my, uh, I mean, dude, right now it's mother-in-law. Just got shoulder surgery. Just came today. Just touched down today. She'll mm. be with us for two weeks. Pregnant Bay. You got the mother in law for two weeks. Yeah, dude. With a with a bad wing. With a bad wing, bro. Floating around. So that's like a that's like a twenty four hour assistance. I'm like putting on Brittany's pants for her at this point. Like trying to like because you can only lift your legs so high and that belly gets so big. Oh man, yeah. You barely lift That'd your. That'd be legs. nice. I could use that. 
for some pants. <laughs> <laughs> some somebody helping me because my belly's in the way. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm just calling like pure butler. I'm on Jeffrey mode, dude. Just pure butler mode for like until this baby comes, and then pretty much forever, <laughs> forever Damn. after that. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's pretty tight. It's a life of service. Yeah, I, I take my dogs to the dog park. That's like my favorite favorite thing. And like a lot of people leave, and I feel real badly about myself. I'm like, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. <laughs> oh yeah, because everyone hates you at the dog park, dude. Yeah, I think everyone hates you. A lot of people, possibly. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> I think well, everyone hates you. Outside the, of the dogs, dude. I think the rest of the world hates Universally, I would say, yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, I'm sitting at about a 90% hate rate. (laughs) For sure. (laughs) My my tomato meter is fucking low. Whatever the the green, I got a lot of green. (laughs) (laughs) Be nice to see those reviews. Just a green splatter. It's like, piece of shit. Fucking asshole. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, the... uh, but then there's some hundred percents in there, some big ripe tomatoes. Just for like, sure. Best thing I've ever. I would die for this. Yeah. Fuck the critics, dude. Yes, dude. The, uh, yeah, man. It's funny because I just get crushed. I just get like constantly picked apart by like little bullshit. Like, why are you doing that? Then her mom comes, and then they just do it to each other, and I just get to just like sneak back Ooh. into the distance, dude. And they just fucking. It's so funny. That's nice. I mean, it's horrible they fight, but it's like I get like a two week reprieve where I'm just the good guy on both sides, and I'm like, no, I see what you're saying. I'm like, oh no, I get it. Oh yeah, yeah. Damn. She can be a little difficult. Oh yeah, I know, yeah, I know what you mean, dude. It's so yeah, nice. the hens squawking. I get to chill. I get to fall back. That's throw the true. You need that. You need some hens getting involved for the. You, they got to fight somebody. Yeah, man. It's it's. I've been absorbing a lot of it, and now I can just kind of. Like, I can we, come I was over on the way driving. Getting like, what are you doing? Da, da, da. And I'm on my head. I was just like, yeah, your mom's about to be here. Pick your motherfucking ass apart. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Whatever. But yeah. I could come over to the house every once in a while. And spar. If you want me to just come over and fight your bag. Just kind of go with her? Yeah. No, that'll literally up, just be a fight. Rattler. It'll be a fight later. Yeah, that's true. That's just a fight. Yeah. That'll I'm an, I'm an extension of you. Yeah. Well, that'll be a fight in the bank. Yeah. And later it'll be like, fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, dude. That, uh, I'm sure you've gotten in a fight on my behalf. With her? No, I don't think not really. I don't think we've ever really gone at it. No, you've never. I've never gotten a fight. For sure, never gotten a fight with you or a fight with her for you fighting yeah, yeah, her. Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. Oh, he, ND was the closest I came to fighting. Right, right, right. Forgot yeah. about that. That was a good one. That was yeah, that was wild, dude. <laughs> that was fun. that was actually really fun. That was yeah. fun as hell. That was that was fun. That was sick. Yeah, baby, dude. What else is up? Nothing, man. That's tight. Oh, my God. Fucking customs getting back. JFK was, I've never, like, hell. A personal yeah, fucking hell, dude. What, you were you hot? You get, you get to England, it's just, like, a picture of you. You walk through these machines that, like, scan who you are, and you leave. The United States was, like, dude, it was Ellis Island. There's no, There was no separation between U.S. citizens and anybody else. There must have been a fucking plane straight from Afghanistan right before me. Did you and, <laughs> I was just in line with, like, dozens. It was for real. It was Ellis Island. Did you and O'Connor get, like, separated and have to sleep under tinfoil blankets for, like, two months? <laughs> yeah, dude. He's still in a cage. <laughs> O'Connor got sent down to Texas. He's in one of those blankets. He's playing soccer on a dirt <laughs> yeah, field right now. <laughs> yeah, O'Connor, yeah. El Connor is down there, bro. Dude, El Connor. <laughs> El Connor is down there. Dude. But yeah, I was like, it was it's it's crazy how bad. And the whole time I was like, can't wait to get back to the United States. The United States fucking rules. As soon as we touch down, I'm in JFK's customs. Oh, this is like, 19- good Lord. You got it right in 1984 mode. It was. I was like, this is the. There was one dude. There, there was at one point just one guy mm-hmm. for a line of probably like 400 people, and each person was taking about five minutes. Oh, just one on one. Fuck. It was crazy. Asking questions and shit. Yeah. That's usually like a five person, five worker operation. Yeah. I always used to go into those and be like real sketchy for some weird reason because I'd have like a weed gummy left over. And it, that's fucking hell, dude. Yeah. Do you ever open, they open up your luggage at all? Uh, on the, yeah, from Canada to England. Yeah. Because I had toothpaste. They got me. Careful. Yeah. They take it? No. But go ahead. Damn. So, we need a candidate that can fix these fucking customs, dude. Well, that, yeah. I mean, customs was fine literally everywhere else. And then coming back to the United States was pretty gay. Pretty annoying, huh? Yeah. You get real... It's pretty easy to get racist in that line, too. What happens? You, you know, you're just looking around like, what the fuck? Why am I being treated like I'm not white? 
<laughs> that's the new racism now it used to be like you would get nervous like flying around dudes in the middle east now if you see like a chinese person cough you're like oh i was thinking that too I'm i was like congratulations you. asians you're the new arabs i'm telling i saw that i was Bro. i saw i saw someone with the mask i saw someone hacking up and i was like that's gonna be the new thing of like yo yeah the people be people are gonna be scared yeah every time i cough people run away <laughs> yeah man if you're asian you're getting pulled off that's trouble. If you're, if you're, I mean, dude, it, it like, sucks. Have you been to China? It's like, no, I'm from here. It's like, have you been to fucking China, dude? Are you lying? He picks up a toothbrush. Made in China. Explain <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah. Where'd you get this from? Yeah. That, or yeah. if you go into the office, dude, you could be, you could like be born in San Francisco. That's you're what Asian, I mean. Yeah. You go into the office and you're like, I got a cold. Everyone's like, why don't you take a year off? Take a, <laughs> you just take wait a, till this virus dies down. But yeah, that's funny. We actually have these little masks, these little surgical yeah, masks. Yeah. Why don't you wear these? I'm saying, come on, you guys look good in these. <laughs> you guys are always wearing these. Wear it, come on. <laughs> That's so yeah. funny. Guy was wearing a mask sitting next to me at the at the Chelsea match. A Chelsea boy was wearing a match or a mask during. Was the he game. really? Yeah, he was wearing the fucking katana. Yeah, dude. I was like, what the fuck, man. That's he yeah. was probably worried about that corona. Exactly. That might be the only worst thing than the actual virus is having to listen to forty year old white dudes joke about like beer. Being like, I'll tell you what, I'm I got a bit of the coronavirus this week. It's five I'm o'clock. safe. I drank Bud Light. <laughs> I've literally heard like nine of those. Since yeah, I've that's talked. rough. Anytime I hear my family, like, how about that uh, coronavirus? It's huh? a Highland joke. Oh, dude, that's <laughs> that's it. that's his territory, bro. Oh, it's man. the pinnacle. That's the motherfucking. Yeah, pinnacle. let's take a break. Yeah, let's do it. Let's when you can slide. Uh, let's yeah, let's break. Let's it take up. a break. What up, everybody? Sorry about that. Matt was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> No, we, we just, yeah. We're going to put the rest of this on the page. Shane made us go to the page. Look, <laughs> Matt's already ruined my career once. <laughs> Matt already took from me the greatest opportunity of my life. <laughs> uh, no, we put the rest on the page. I don't know what is on the page and what's not. Well, knows, we stopped. Definitely so, a little boozy on page. Lil Boozy's we, paged up. We stopped. You know, uh, we, I wish you, I wish we could have paged for you. Is what? Bernie Sanders talks Jewish. Bernie, he, no, Bernie Sanders is anti-Jew. Yeah. <laughs> if you're like, like, all the Jews are like, what the fuck is this guy doing? True. They're going to nail his ass to a fucking cross, dude. Uh, Christ is the anti-Jew. <laughs> oh, no, dude. <laughs> They're going to crucify his fucking ass. No. What? What are you doing? What are you supposed to do? All right. Uh, true. That is true, dude. I just love Chris. Excuse me for loving Christ. Dude. I love Christ Excuse too. Excuse me. And dude. Bernie Sanders is very Christ like. Excuse dude, me for believe, loving Christ. I can't believe healthcare. we're Bernie bros now, dude. <laughs> I'm just a Christ. I just love Christ. True. Why does everyone never talk about when I'm being like Christ, dude? True. <laughs> How about who do you think is more Christ like, Bernie or Trump dog? <laughs> That's a tough call, bro. I know. One Christ, of them loves abortion. Christ That's is a thunder. Because Bernie definitely given to the poor and all that. Very Christ like. But. Toss in that whole abortion thing. True. That's where Jesus weeps the most. True. And Trump dog hates abortion. He's a bona fide He's Christian. He's definitely dude. never had anything to do with an abortion. Are you kidding me? How many abortions do you think Trump dogs presided? He probably over? used to do them himself. He, uh, the <laughs> amount of abortions that guy must have like. <laughs> dude, I mean, I it, hate to, I hate to put that on somebody, but you're gonna put that on our president, dude. On you're the say president, that he had I would abortion, say that dude. The Trump. Trump dog has probably had double digit abortions. Definitely, I, they're That's tough. Strong. I will say, who's aborting his kid? What do you mean? That's a fuck. That's the golden ticket, dude. Yeah, you'd true. have to like. Yeah, you'd have to be a fucking moron to go through with it. I mean, he Unless probably, he he probably doesn't even get abortion. Ticket. He probably kills them. Mm. On Trump, if you get a if you knock up a lady, you. She's like, yeah, you're gonna force me to get an abortion, or I can just have your kid and become like a multimillionaire. Yeah, he probably kill. He probably doesn't even abort. He doesn't abort kids. He probably aborts. Aborts. Sniz. The, yeah, he aborts the actual snizz. When you're a billionaire, you can abort your girlfriend. <laughs> just be like, yeah, Fuck true. Him, dude. King Henry the Eighth, bro. Ultimate. He's probably killed multiple. They're probably like making fun, like sexual this, sexual assault. And he's like, dude, I've killed my exes, dude. I've murdered them. Hmm. Imagine being a billionaire. You can kill your fucking whatever. I'm not gonna get into it. No, I like it. I don't want to get into it. What? Killing your ex? You could. I would kill my fucking You could bitch. be like, let's go to like a wild vacation that my friend owns. Like the he, My friend owns an island. You can just yeah. push her off of a cliff and be she like, fell. <laughs> she fucking <laughs> fucked. That was sad. You could take your wife to such a remote place that you could just murder her. And I knew a back. guy whose bae fell off a thing at a hotel on their honeymoon. 
died? Yeah. What, what did she fall off of? Fucking like the hotel. Dude, that would be an evil industry like parasailing. If you have second guesses, if you get married too quick and you have second guesses, there's like this Jamaican resort. You can hit him an extra like two G's and be like, yo, cut her fucking line. Yeah, cut that line. Cut her line. She just falls for like <laughs> a thousand feet. <laughs> oh, no. You, you see the fly and watch. Dude, skydiving. You can just, this would just, True. Cl- just close it down. You sign the waivers. The waivers are fucking bulletproof. Punch a little hole in that fucking parachute. Nobody what? knows, dude. What? Nobody knows. They're like, oh shit, she fell. That guy just goes. Into, That's dude. a nice little industry we're putting together. We'll murder your bay on a wife, tropical island. Wife murder. Good wife murder on the honeymoon. Ooh, ah, this is fucked up because of the guy. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. I think his was actual sad. You would think. But then but that's just that's just such a thing that's like that's just looming. That's crazy. But then it's, it's like, like if your bay falls off a fucking hotel on a honeymoon, that's a tough one to come home from. That's crazy. And you got to be like, I didn't do it. Oh, for people to yeah, it's like if your girlfriend like, like yeah, literally fall got down got the steps, up, got hammered, and fell. Yeah, if your girlfriend fell down the steps. Sorry, my base called me right now. I might fucking yeah, she wh- might, I be might a, have to whack her. She dude. might on her way to a fucking parachute trip. I <laughs> double calling me. Um. But yeah, I was gonna say something else. Probably shouldn't even say it anyway. It's about murder. It's, well, it's not even that bad. It's just you can set up the, the industry with Thailand, where like once you murder your bay, you hop on the back of a moped. <laughs> with lady a lady boy? boy transports you to Thailand. You you can't extradite. But, <laughs> but let's get the, fuck out. the rest of the shit right, on Patreon. The rest on the page, and then I think we're also gonna toss one on the page with tomorrow O'Connor. as yep. well. So double page action. I th- we're gonna try to get a hold of the O'Con man. He might yep. be a tough one to get. If his jet lag's half as bad as mine. It's going to be tough. Also, he's at a wedding right now, <laughs> dancing, having fun, dude. Who knows what the O'Connor man is up to? <laughs> All right, let's do this All shit right. tomorrow.